I was unloading a boat one day uh, last summer, and a, a tourist walking down the dock stopped and said, hey, I ate a fish off that boat in Gulf Shores, Alabama yesterday. And I thought that was one of the neatest things about traceability that they were able to take home with them. The fish we eat have stories. Some travel a long way to get to our plates. Some may be farmed in conditions that require large amounts of antibiotics and pesticides that can harm nearby ecosystems. Others are caught illegally, and some are even associated with human trafficking and slave labor. But some fish are caught in well-managed fisheries, even right here in our backyard by hardworking Americans. And these are stories that are important to tell. But the only way to know if the stories we're getting about a fish are accurate is through traceability. Traceability refers to information about when, where, and how a fish was caught. Information that follows that fish from the boat to the dinner plate. Once a crummy imported fish is double battered and put on a bum with coleslaw and tartar sauce, it's a little bit difficult to tell what the origins are of that fish. And generally, the most popular, most expensive fish are the ones that are going to be mislabeled and something else is going to be substituted for them. I don't want to be you know, assisting in, in, in the human trafficking. I don't want to be assisting people who are har over harvesting or harvesting fish in the wrong areas. I think people have a right to know what they're eating, especially if they're being sold one thing when it's really another. We use traceability to try to get local people to demand local seafood. The biggest value for us is really trying to bridge that gap and get people to focus on what's really out there and to open up people's eyes on the amazing things we have right here in our local waters. We love to tell our stories of the generations that have come before us and why our product's so good. This gives us a vessel to tell that to the consumer. It's what we do. We just, we're just producing food to feed people. To have a good, trustworthy, traceable, wild, natural source that people can have confidence in, that's, that's the reason we'll be here 10 years from now, or 20 years from now. You like this whole piece? You got it. Absolutely. The trust we have with our customers uh, builds sales. It's just what it is. For us, this directly translates into more income for the company. And we've proven as a company that you can do it, and you can still make money, and you can grow as a company. <laughs> It has definitely benefited our business to use traceability. We really go above and beyond to make sure that we are getting that story from the fisherman to the end user so that there's maximum value for everybody along the seafood supply chain. As a chef and restaurant owner, I think we really try to make sure that we're offering the best that we can and part of that is knowing where the fish comes from, how it was caught, when it was caught. All that information gets fed into our database and then we know all the way through our handling of that fish where it came from. They can actually take the fish print card, scan it with their phone, and it takes them to a picture of the pretty captain and the boat and you know him holding up that catch. If you go out on a lobster boat in the middle of December up in, up in Maine, uh, where it's freezing cold temperatures and you actually see how hard these guys work, to tell that story and to bring a diner in Miami, Florida, and for him to read it and understand what's involved in catching lobsters, um, you know, that's kind of a, a cool feature that we can bring. I think that traceability is a way that we can still save the oceans while feeding America, feeding the world, um, and that we can 
use the story of the fish to let people vote with their fork. And when the people vote with their fork, they're going to make educated choices, and these educated choices are benefit the ocean. I think traceability is a cost of doing business today. It's not a differentiator for anybody anymore. Customers really want to know, and they, they're really demanding to know about sustainability and food safety. I really believe it's going to be, uh, it's going to go across the industry. I really do. Um, again, it's all about consumers. They want to know the information. People are interested about where their food's coming from. There's no question about it. It's not a trend. It is just a, an evolution in eating in America. Full chain traceability, I, I think at every level will just make it a, a transparent process. So at the customer level, to the wholesale level, to the retail level, everybody interchangeably will know where the product came from, where it changed hands, until it hits the plate. People deserve to get what they pay for, you know, bottom line.